Hello everyone, it's Sama here back to YouTube with a new dish. So today I'll be making a whole cauliflower curry or it can also be called a whole cauliflower roast. Since it's the season of winter and cauliflower is much available now, so I thought to make up something with it. I'll be making it in the easiest way possible, well easy and appetizing. The prerequisite to make it are a whole cauliflower and tomato sauce. There are a few more ingredients required to make it. So let's go on and see the process how to make a whole cauliflower curry. First we have a one whole cauliflower. This one is a medium sized. I have cut the leaves of the cauliflower and now I am going to take it for boiling. In a pan I have a definite amount of water so that the cauliflower is fully immersed in it. Now I add in a half teaspoon of salt and a two tablespoons of vinegar. Then place the cauliflower inside the pan and make sure it is fully immersed. Since mine doesn't look totally immersed, so I am adding in some more water. Now this much will be alright to make the cauliflower boil perfectly. Then cover, turn on the stove and boil for about 20 minutes. This boiling is to ensure if there are any pests or insects inside the cauliflower, they will get carried away with the water and we get a germ-free cauliflower. After 20 minutes, now let's check if it is boiled. Okay, it seems boiled. So we turn off the stove and take it out on a plate. Here we have heated a pan on the stove and now we are pouring in a half cup of oil. Then one cardamom and two small sticks of cinnamon. And about one fourth cup of chopped onions. We will fry the onions until they are a bit golden brown. Since our onions have turned much golden brown, so we are adding in a 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and a half teaspoon of red chili powder. Then we are stirring it for a bit. Now about a 3 tablespoons of onion paste. Add some water and again stir a bit. Now some salt as per taste. Since we have added some salt while boiling, so we won't add much now. Now stir for about 5 minutes. Here we pour about a 3 fourth cup of tomato sauce. It's one of the main ingredients of our recipe. And again stir for some more time. Then we add in some water and let it be boiled for some time. Now carefully place the cauliflower 
and bring the gravy over it with a spoon in this manner and remember not to turn the cauliflower upside down. Now we cover it and keep it on stove for about 30 minutes. But in midst we check and bring up the gravy over the cauliflower in this manner. I'll be doing this process for about 3 to 4 times at intervals of 10 minutes. Now I'm adding in some sugar as per taste to balance the taste of the curry. And again put over the gravy. Now after 30 minutes the oils have come up and the gravy has thickened much. So our whole cauliflower roast curry is ready. So we turn off the stove and now is the time to serve. So finally our whole cauliflower roast curry is ready and this wraps up my video. Try this curry with naan or pulao and if you have any curries you can tell me in the comment box below. Hope that you all like my video now please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching the video hoping to see you again in the next video.